countries that defend Christianity or, or advocate for Christianity are very liberal now. So mm. they, they kind of push freedom of speech to a certain degree. When you go too far left, then they'll just cancel you. But to some degree, they push freedom of speech. But I think with the BLM thing, and this is where language is very important, because I feel like we've gone through a similar thing ourselves when we spoke about obesity. Now, when we spoke about obesity, we we're quite raw of it. Same uh, fat, it, sort your life out. Yeah, we, literally, we, literally, we, we, we were very raw of it. And get people, it people attacked. Bro, listen, they what were the screenshotting my page. They, they were messaging, because I had a business page on my on my profile this time. They were messaging people from my business, said, you know, this guy's a fat phobic. I was like- went across the blog pages, chubby- Everywhere, like, look at everywhere, this, just because- off, but, it, but, but this is when I realized how important language is. And if you, leave any, if you leave anything open to interpretation, anything ambiguous, then people will run with that and twist everything you say. So with the BLM thing, I can openly say that I agree with part of what you were saying in terms of what BLM stands for by the organization. Could I, could but, but, but we believe in Black Lives Matter. I believe in no, Black no, Lives Matter. No, no, quickly, guys. What I wanted to say, a lot of our listeners aren't from the UK. So quickly explain, in your words, what happened with the BLM oh, situation. So Black Lives Matter. So Black, Black Lives Matter's hit off, yeah? It's been going on for a decade before this. Most people think it formed after George Floyd. So I've been watching it in the United States. It comes around every four years. For Antifa and all that. Antifa, mm. it's aligned with the left-wing, far-left far organisations. The funding goes straight to the white politicians for the Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, so when it formed, it formed after um, the killing of, was it Trevor James? And, and it says a white supremacist police officer killed him. Yeah, That's on the website for Black Lives Matter, for the formation. It's, it's, it, the cop was Hispanic. Yeah, so that's a lie straight off the back. So when I first looked there, I thought it's built on a lie. Yeah, hands up, don't shoot. That's a lie that never got said coming from the black witnesses. Yeah, so all these things have been pushed, and then I look at why they're pushing it, and then I look at who formed it, formed by two lesbian Marxists. I looked at the website, I see that Black Lives Matter wants to bring about uh, this break up the nuclear family, yeah. they don't want mums and dads. Yeah, mm. they want the state to bring up your child, and all of these are big alarm bells because it's so basically Marx, Marxist anarchy, anarchy, which is what they want. Yeah, yeah? Okay. and and these these clowns in Antifa, these fucking left wing, non binary, blue haired lunatics, <laughs> cannot cause a revolution. Yeah, mm. so they take black community who have got genuine grievances about racism and discrimination, and they use them basically, and they fire them up, yeah, and they direct them. So I've seen that in America, and I'm looking at it. Yeah, identity, I wouldn't say, the, obviously, I wouldn't use your words of the blue head, whatever. <laughs> the lefties, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they use... Um, lefties who have got blue hair and yeah. non-binary. <laughs> 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 who don't know what they are and self-hate and all that. Uh, yeah. This guy wants to get me in trouble. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Be careful, bro. <laughs> the, the, the lefties, um, it's sort of similar to how the US will get... Uh, she told countries in the word of Trump, well, uh, words of Trump to fight proxy wars where they fund the wars. Certain leftist groups know that the black community are highly emotional highly and, and, and yeah. often, often in the communities they're targeting prone to high levels of violence. What else would be better than to rile them up and violence, yeah. violence? If you looked at where go. they burned out, if you looked at the cities that they burned out, Black Lives Matter, when they looted in there. Mm. Mate, they literally, it's literally as like a, an operation for a... Um, a company, so basically they looted where they're building these new banking zones for what what's coming next, yeah? Mm. They literally burned all the businesses, which were Hispanic and black, yeah? Then they bought in COVID, so the businesses couldn't reopen, yeah? Literally, the banks bought up these entire areas, yeah? As part of their regeneration for their banking, yeah? Mm. And it, it was literally like, it was an operation to go out and burn certain places. When I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, this is mad, yeah? Quick, quick gentrification, basically. That's what they've done. Yeah. Speed up the process. That's what they've done. I have a question, though, yeah. Uh, quick before, uh, yeah. That what you're seeing, what happened with Antifa in the black communities, is what the politicians are doing with Boko Haram. In okay, Nigeria. okay, so yeah, no, you get okay. It. And then, but then with the, so when Black Lives Matter comes to the UK, I'm thinking I've seen black men, well respected black men, which no one knows the name of. You had the old the the ex police sergeant murdered and beaten to death in the Black Lives Matter riot, and then it comes to the UK, and I think these race identity politics weren't here really. Yeah, there was pretty cool here. Yeah. Mm. And then all of yeah, not as politics, yeah. No, and all of a sudden, same. it's bangs. I was like, Ross, man.